What's up, Loft Shop Calgary? Uh, Dave Dempsey here, just saying a couple of words about Mikey Dambra. Uh, I'm up at Edmonton. I work with Mike quite a bit. I know what you're thinking. Man, you're only three hours away in Edmonton. Why didn't you drive down? Because it's Mike fucking Dambra. Okay, it's the roast of Mike Dambra. If it was the fucking cremation of Mike Dambra, I'd be in the front row. I Fuck it, I'd be the guy pushing his withered old corpse into the fire. But the roast of Mike Dambra, fuck it, I'll send a video now. I know there are a couple of guys down there representing Edmonton. Uh, Ryan Patterson, I think, is there. Hey, Ryan, give us a wave. Big gangly freak, man. Ryan Patterson, I, I work with Ryan. He's a great guy. He's one of those guys that uh, looks like a serial rapist killer, but uh, actually is one. Um... It, he's got the perfect cover, too, you know? He tells a few jokes, gets a few laughs, buys a girl a roofied-up drink, all of a sudden the chick is fucking being used as curtains in his creepy fucking Northside apartment. Uh, he's he's good at what he does. Um, Scott Belford's there, your roast master, speaking of rapists and shit like that. Um, most Jewish-looking Christian I know, Scotty Belford. Uh, I'm glad he's down there. He's he's a funny guy. He's probably doing a great job roast mastering. Uh, and it, it, the beauty of having Scott there, it doesn't matter what the fuck you say about him. He is so baked right now. He doesn't give a shit. All he's doing right now is thinking about what food item he hasn't made into a joke yet. Uh, of course, the guy we're really here to talk about, Mike Dambra. Mike Dambra, the least famous person to ever come out of Rochester, New York. Mike fucking Dambra. And some famous people have come out of Rochester, New York. Uh... Cal Ripken Sr., the baseball coach, China, the chick from the WWE, Brian Gionta from the NHL, and all of these people have had less balls and foreign objects slapped into their face than Mike Dambra. Uh, I mean, what can you say about a guy that hasn't been drunkenly yelled at him by a crowd or spouse? He's fucking, he's great. He's a great father, we will say that. He had his little girl a little while ago. Uh, I was as surprised as anyone, because most people Mike's age are, you know, fucking dying and not having kids. Or, if they do have kids, they tend to come out, you know, Down Syndrome. Which would have been the ultimate karmic retribution to a guy who does hate on retards. I know that's what you're thinking, but don't. Mike loves retards, okay? That's terrible. He is a huge fan of retards. He married one. Seriously. That's how much he cares. And I can only imagine how much shit I am in right now for having just said that. But let's face it, I know some terrible stuff's gonna get said about Mike tonight. Fuck, I'd be surprised if the word Napoleonic hasn't come up already. Can I just say, seriously, from the bottom of my heart, Mike, you know how much uh, of a mentor you've been for me, how much you've helped me, and I know how much you'll continue to help me and how awesome you're gonna continue to be. Um, I hope you have a great night, mate, and uh, we'll see you when we see you. Peace.